So today we're using the rotary and we're going to be using the multi brush system by Bonham Pro. This is John Klusnik's company. Um, one of the uh, great rotary cleaners and manufacturers out there. Um, does a great job and uh, I learned a lot from watching his videos and uh, I'm in his group uh, on Facebook, one of the good groups to be in uh, and I've learned a lot. Um, in his groups, you know, silent reading and whatnot, um, very helpful. And here we're using the um, multi-brush system and that's with the uh, cotton bonnet that's designed for the rotary. And there's the brush, so you're getting agitation and um, absorption at once. So very uh, great uh, tool to have if you're a rotary cleaner. Uh, this only fits for the 17 inch machines. I believe they have dirt nappers for 15 inch machines, but not 13. And this is uh, gonna do a great job here. This is a quarterly carpet cleaning uh, client. We also do the janitorial. So in this uh, particular day, we're gonna be doing the uh, carpets and we're gonna be doing the um, wood floors. So all with one machine, the rotary. Um, this is uh, a great machine to have a uh, lot of rotary cleaners out there a uh, lot of orbital cleaners um, for the most part I prefer the orbital but on this kind of carpet definitely uh, a rotary so much easier to use uh, for the hardwood floor yeah I prefer the orbital I like the little bit of a punch down action where you could absorb a lot more of the solution in the soil but rotary works fine too, especially if you're trying to give it that polish effect. Um, we're gonna be using a number of different pads today. Um, we're gonna be using the fiber pad. Um, we're using that first, and that comes with uh, the, um, the multi-brush system. You get five pads, you get five, you get five fiber pads, and you get five bonnets. So. Um, we're using the uh, fiber pad first, and then we're going to be using the um, cotton bonnet. But in the other room, on the other side of the office, we're going to use the uh, different system where we're just going to be using a tan pad, which is really good for commercial carpet. And then we're going to go over it with the rayon bonnet, which is also one of my favorite uh, bonnets. So there's two ways you can do it. Uh, you can use this or you can use the uh, other system. This is about $259. Uh, I think it's a really good deal for what you're getting. Um, and uh, I'm, this is actually my favorite attachment to the rotary. So uh, great attachment to the rotary. Um, really does a great job cleaning. But I use a, a number of different pads as well. But uh, I'll probably be using this one more often um, just because I, I, you know, you don't have to, you know, put the agitation pad on first and then use a bonnet. You know, you, you can just do that at once. So it saves you some time. I like to agitate before I uh, extract, especially on commercial carpet um, when they're dirty. This one doesn't appear that dirty, but it's actually really dirty. You'll see the amount of soil we get. This is uh, at a manu manufacturing plant, so you get a lot of get a lot of soil uh, on the carpet, and um, possible to move remove all the soil. So just keep that in mind when when you're uh, cleaning carpet. You you can't guarantee that you're going to remove all the soil. If you're going to make it look better. You're going to make it look more presentable. You're going to make the atmosphere more hypoallergenic, but um, not going to remove, uh, you're not going to remove all the soil. That's impossible. No method can. No method can. So just keep that in mind. You're going to make it a cleaner environment, but um, that's, that's what you're going to do. That's, you're just not going to remove everything. Um, a lot of people I see advertisements where I live all the time where they're saying they're going to remove all the soil and 
let's just face it, we're just surface cleaners, uh, VLM and HWE, you know, you can't remove all the soil. Uh, so I know there's like sometimes newer people on my channel that watch or potential customers or just people that are looking into the VLM method. Um, no method removes all the soil. So I like to, I like to reiterate that a lot because, uh, I just see it in advertisements so often and it's just very, um, when people advertise that way, uh, I know that actually I, I, this is going to come off sort of negative, negative, but, uh, you know, they're, they're intentionally deceiving, uh, potential clients because anybody that, that, that owns a big company, carpet, cleaning company, whatever, and they're advertising that way, that their intent is to, uh, persuade them into what they're saying and, and deceive them. So very deceitful, uh, but it's not ignorance. Ignorant would be somebody watching these YouTube videos and they, you know, bought an Oric and they're still learning on the job and, uh, you know, they're not putting out YouTube ads and big commercials and billboards out, you know, in your town, um, saying they get remove all the soil, you know, that's what I see. That's the, that's the people that I'm talking about. Um, you know, I, it's, it's, uh, it's, you're opened up to lawsuits, but, but that's a, that's a whole other thing. And if anybody's offended, I, I apologize. Uh, just wanted to get that off my chest because I see that so often down where, I, where I'm at in Florida. So, but anyways, the this system works uh, great. The uh, rotary is a great machine. I, I, I really like this rotary. Um, um, it does good work. It's really easy to operate on this kind of carpet. Um what I really like this rotary for is, uh, man, rugs. So, you know, we're in Florida, so uh, there's mainly hard floors for the most part. You do have carpets in some of the older homes, but for the most part, it's always hardwood or um, laminate or LVP, you know. So the rugs, there's area rugs everywhere, and uh, they get dirty, and we got to clean them. And, um, the ones that aren't uh, trashed in pet urine and don't need to be taken to a wash pit, we uh, use VLM, and this is my favorite uh, tool to use because we do so many rugs. I do use the Oric uh, sometimes, don't get me wrong, but um, when I uh, come across like a, a pretty big rug, uh, we got some rug jobs coming up soon. Um, I like to use the uh, rotary because it's just easier. And one thing, you know, if I try to use a low boy on a rug, it's just going to crumble that thing up. Uh, this, you can use it even on a small rug, which I demonstrated on many videos, even a small rug. Um, you could uh, use the uh, rotary. So the rotary is just uh, completely, you know, I'm not going to say it's underrated because people have been using it for a long time, way before I, I've used it. And with this multi-brush system, you know, I first came across this system uh, when I saw uh, Citrus Solution, uh, Paul Romanek's videos. Um, he was like kind of a, a pioneer in the uh, rotary cleaning. You know, he uh, owned Citrus Solution. And, um, um, you know, uh, that's, he was the one that I first saw his whole system with the dirt napper. I was like, wow, that's pretty, pretty good. You know, that's pretty neat. And it looks like it does a great job. So I started watching Citrus Solution. They're a, they're a chain around the country. They're a VLM chain. And then, uh, I started watching, uh, Mitchell Rains, AKA J.R. Mitchell. Um, he was, uh, I think he was working under Paul Romanic and, uh, I, 
think he ventured into his own business. Um, he's changed up his company's names uh, quite a bit. Um, but I think he's set with he's he's with OMG now carpet cleaning out, out in Atlanta. He does like a lot of good work. I watched his videos. He makes way more videos than Paul Romanic. Uh, Paul Romanic may be retired. He's an older gentleman, so I, I'm not really sure if he if he's that much into it uh, working wise. I think he sells his system and how to get into rotary cleaning. But um. I don't think so much he participates anymore. I could be wrong. I haven't I haven't checked up on what he does on YouTube in a while. But you can see we're done here. And take a look at these pads. Um, they're going to be pretty dirty. Now, again, you can keep going and keep going and keep going. And uh, you're just not going to... You're not going to get done... Uh, you know, I did agitate it with the fiber pad first. I've got to look how much soil it came out there. So looks a lot better, cleaner, fresher. You know, in person, it looks just so much better. Um, when I got there, the carpets were kind of brownish looking. That's how dirty they were. And now they, um, they're they about dry, I would say. And they um, they're gonna, they look really good. So we're going to do the other room. This one's not as bad. And uh, we're going to be using the tan fiber pad. And we'll just briefly show that in action. Um, these pads you can get on Amazon. Uh, Excellent Supply has pads. Um, the rayon bonnet I got from Direct Mop Sales. So... If you need bonnets for like for your rotary, like if you're into rayon or other microfibers or any kind of other sort of uh, even cotton bonnets, if you if you if you want those kind of bonnets, you get them from direct mop sales, uh, or you could just listen. Really, you could get them from Bonnet Pro um, and. Uh, use the uh, multi-brush system if you have a 17-inch machine. So, they work really well. Um, yeah, Bonner Pro's got a lot of chemicals too. Um, you know, if you do encapsulation, he probably has, you know, very good encapsulation. I know you see a lot of cleaners on YouTube. They use the uh, his products and they do really good work. Um, they have the, I think there was Nanomax and um, shoot, what's the other one? Uh, I, I used to use the um, Revive It Rocket, terrific product, uh, peroxide based. Um, but I use other products. I use, uh, I, I'm more of a, non-encapsulation person i do have end cap i do i have used it but um i experiment a lot and use a lot of different products really like the yoda band three in one and here's the wood floor here we're doing uh pretty dirty wood floor um so we're using the rayon uh again i prefer getting an orbital but i don't feel like uh the the, the, the rotary's already here. I don't feel like I could get the auric. This is going to be a little bit faster. Um, what I did here was is uh, I went over it. You know, I put a liberal amount of solution there, neutral product. Then I went over it with the twenty four inch flathead mop when I was done, just to kind of give it an even look, real quick. Um, you could go and I could have used the, uh, red pad and, or, or white pad, went over it real quick and then went over it with the mop. You could do that with the, uh, and then I could have post pol white, you know, used the white polish pad to give it kind of a more brilliant look, but 
they're not paying for all that. They're just paying for a, a cleaning of the hardwood with the machine that that the uh, just mopping alone can't do. So the more detail they that you uh, add, if you're going to do different polish pads or put a finish on, you know, all that sort of thing, you got to charge. Like with the vacuuming, you know, if you're going to pre-vacuum, you know, of course you're charging. If you're post-vacuuming, it's going to be a little bit more. You know, you, you just have to, you have to do it, you know. Uh, every little thing that, that you have to do extra, if it's more labor-intensive, you're just going to have to charge for anything that's labor-intensive. Especially nowadays, I know a lot of cleaners, I do house cleaning too, janitorial, and a lot of people overlook when, if you have to get on a ladder and get something on top of a cabinet or refrigerator, you got to move something, you know, you got to charge for it, especially when you get older, you know, you, you're putting your body at risk, you got to be compensated. Anything where I'm going to be put at risk, picking something up even, it could be like three pencils on the ground. You know, you're putting yourself at risk of blowing out your back, um, especially when you're older. Uh, and you've had, you have a lot of miles on the odometer. So. But uh, floor is going to come out looking nice. This is a little conference room area. And um, this is a regular client uh, that we work for. And... Um, we do these every quarter, so this is just uh, very easy, easy work. The rotary does a good job. On wood floor, I do prefer that uh, rayon bonnet. I'm using the rotary. Uh, so, floors came out nice. Everything came out nice. And uh, um, rotary, great machine. The most versatile machine you can buy um by far and they're relatively inexpensive too so it's uh very good to have you know very good tool to have in your arsenal rotary and orbital combination just uh great to have in your van and i uh, thank you for watching